I have three objects here on my InDesign page. I'll click, drag and release to select them like so. And with a selection in play, here in the Properties panel, we see this Align option just here. We've all seen these buttons before, guys. Align top, middle, bottom. I'll just click on Align top edges. No big surprises, they all nicely align at the top just here. But have you ever given much thought as to why they chose this horizontal line just here to align themselves to? Well, that's what this button is all about just here. Currently, it's set to align to selection. So what these guys were doing was, was aligning themselves to the topmost object within our selection. In this case, the red dot. So I'm gonna change this to say, align to page. I'll undo one step. Again, hit the align to top option just here. And they've all nicely now aligned themselves to the top of the page. Okay, so that's cool. But what then is align to key object all about? Well, I'll select that just now. And notice InDesign puts this extra highlighting around the red dot just here. In this case, it's automatically assigned the red dot as the key object. So let's now choose align top edges and I get this. And we've kind of seen this before, right? So what's so special? Well, let me back up and let's do this from scratch ourselves. Click, drag and release to select everything. If I say click once on the green dot, no modifier keys held down, everything is still selected, but notice I have been able to manually nominate the green dot as the key object. So if I now choose the align to top edges button, check this out, everything has nicely aligned itself to the green dot. Let's undo that. Everything's still selected. I can click on the red dot, making it the key object. If I now choose align right edges, check this out. Everything has nicely right aligned itself to the red dot. So guys, that's the align to key object within the align section here inside of InDesign. I hope that gives you some cool ideas on how you can better arrange things during your design process. Catch you later.